This is Manjaro 16.08 KDE version, and it is a wonderful distribution, especially if you like KDE. And here, this is exactly what you see after you successfully install the program. This is exactly how it starts up. You have the welcome screen, the little panel at the bottom, and the default launcher in the upper left-hand corner. Installation's easy. It uses Calamari's, and it keeps improving and improving every time I use it uh, with each new successful update to the Manjaro system, it gets better and better. And it's a very easy installation, which I really like. So this is a way to get you into using access to the Arch Users Repository with a very easy installer. Okay, so th I guess kind of think of it as Arch Lite, maybe. I understand why our, you know, Arch users don't really consider it to be Arch, but that's getting kind of far afield for us. It is a, just a wonderful distribution, very stable and very fast. Now, the first thing I like to do once I get out of uh, the welcome screen, I could care less about it at the, at the present moment. So the first thing I do with any KDE desktop I install is I go to the compositor and I increase the animation speed. Right here we can see animation speed. And you'll see this when you open up applications, sometimes even just scrolling through your uh, launcher, you're not very fast. The program doesn't see, the program seems very sluggish or just slow. So I'll usually cut it all the way down to instant or the number two slot to speed that up. You'll see a bouncing ball when you uh, load an application, for example, and I don't like to see the ball bouncing, so I speed it up. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'll take a look, and it is a rolling release, which means it's always constantly being updated and upgraded. So the first thing I'll look at it is try and find where the update manager is on the panel, and it happens to be this little guy, Octopi, which is just a wonderful package manager. And you can see I have 358 uh, upgrades to do, so that's going to take quite a while. We're not going to do it today, but uh, that is the downside to a rolling release. But once you're through that initial hurdle, if you keep your system up to date, uh, you're never going to have that kind of problem again. And when you go from 1608 to something much better, you're not going to have to reinstall the program and, and worry about your home folder and all your files. So uh, I really like the rolling release. And of course, I can always go back and choose an older stable kernel if the most recent update causes something to crash. And hopefully it won't. So, and I've never had that happen to me, by the way. So this is uh, your standard KDE desktop, your standard launcher. And it comes with all the kind of normal programs that a regular desktop would have. You have uh, internet browsers, you have LibreOffice, it's light on games, um, it has a BitTorrent program, it has VLC and other uh, picture managers. So it's, it comes very complete. And it being KDE, you can just pop right into the settings. And you can see you've got graphical settings for Manjaro right here. So if we click on that, and then click on your password, that's going to get us access to our kernel, our languages, user accounts, time and date, keyboard settings, and hardware detection. Now I installed the non-free, I chose the non-free installation from the initial live boot of Manjaro, so I've already installed, without doing anything, my NVIDIA drivers. And once I upgrade it, I won't be at 367 anymore, I'll probably be in the 370s somewhere. So that's just wonderfully nice. Manjaro does a good job at spotting your hardware, especially if you happen to have an NVIDIA driver. I've never had a problem with anything not working in Manjaro. Thankfully, I've never had a Broadcom driver to really give me fits. And I don't have any of the weird printers. I've always used HP printers. So that's a quick look at KDE Manjaro. One of the things I'll always do is I'll take my panel, and it's very customizable, KDE is. I'll go into Panel Settings, and I'm just going to take the screen edge. Well, first we'll move that out of the way. 
panel options, panel settings, screen edge, left click and drag, and put it at the top. And there we go. And then I can add widgets very easily by going into add widgets. And it's going to open up a panel here on the left and I get to choose what I want to add. I've got lots of choices. And remember, I always like to get the temperature up for my CPUs. I like to get the weather up. I like to get uh, some additional ones up. Oh, probably another launcher. I'm going to replace that launcher with a different one. And I'll put in my uh, KDE Connect for my phone right there. In fact, it's already in. So there's lots of choices. And if I don't find the choice here, I can always go on the internet through Get New Widgets. And boy, there's just a ton of them out there. So let's take a look at highest rated. There's weather, a new dock plasmoid if you like docks. So KDE is just really great. There's the thermal monitor. Really enjoy that. And we'll put that down here. Maybe we'll put it all the way in the right hand corner. So that's a quick look at KDE using Manjaro. If you like KDE, I highly recommend using Manjaro, especially if you're going to play Steam. If you're not going to play Steam, I think I might like Chaos a little better. Uh, but that's just me personally. With Chaos, you're going to sacrifice a lot of access to a lot of uh, programs. But if the programs that are in the Chaos repositories meet your need, then I, I like Chaos better. But Manjaro 16.08 it's no slouch, and in fact, I think it's 16.09 as we speak. So if I would do these upgrades, I'd be at 09, and I think uh, 10 is already in testing. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.